Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we are finishing up our date night series and we're going to be hitting it off with steaks. Now I used to work in the restaurant business, so I know restaurants are so busy during Valentine's Day. So get the ingredients, cook it at home and surprise your special loved one. So no further ado, let's get into the recipe. Since you're here, hit the like and subscribe button and make sure that the notification bell is ringing. Check me out on social media. That way you can get notification of all my new recipes. All right, so let's talk about steaks. Today I got me a Black Angus Premium Choice ribeye. This is a thick cut. Now, when you're cooking steaks, you want to make sure that you temper your meat. Basically, let it come to room temperature. This has been sitting out for about an hour or so. Uh, the reason why you want to temper your, your, your meat is because you get even cooking throughout the surface. Uh, not necessarily, you know, it cooks faster. It does cook a little bit faster, but you get even cooking. Now, if this would have been cold, you know, maybe one side that has a little bit more fat would probably cook a little bit faster than compared to the other side, you know, other spots that is, you know, thick meat. So you always want to make sure that you let your steaks come to room temperature before you start uh, cooking them. Now, when it comes to prime or Angus or, you know, select, the difference is, is in the marbling within the meat. Now, if this would have been like a New York strip, I would want a prime or uh, black uh, black Angus because uh, New York strip is just one solid, you know, piece of meat. It doesn't have like the fat like a ribeye does. So you want to make sure that you have some, you know, intermuscular uh, fat, you know, that which they call marbling. You see all these marblings. When you cook, this is going to melt down and it's going to be a nice juicy steak. So to start off, we're gonna do a little bit of trimming. All right, so we're gonna go ahead right here on this little fat cap right here. We're gonna go ahead and just trim that up a little bit. There is a lot of fat on this, so you, you, know, you kinda wanna just trim it up a bit. Plus when we cook, it's gonna render down a lot. We'll actually just cut this little piece off right here. Save the meat, you could do something with it. Now, when in the restaurant, we actually used to cut down all the way, you know, remove that fat cap. I mean, you're not gonna eat this. It's just fat, so go ahead and trim that up. So for our seasoning, very simple. We're gonna take some coarse kosher salt and give a nice liberal seasoning of that. Okay, then we're also gonna be seasoning our cutting board because we're gonna get the sides of the steak. Of course, black pepper. Just let it rain. And again, we're gonna season our board with the black pepper. That way we can get the sides of the steak. And finally, granulated garlic. Super easy seasonings, but this is all your steak needs. There's just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. If you have a specific seasoning that you'd like to use on your steak, by all means, that'll work all as well. Just go ahead and pat it. Then we're gonna go ahead and season the other side. Now take your steak. And you want to go ahead and season the sides of the steak. So now that we have our steak seasoned up, we're going to go ahead and let it sit for about 15 minutes. Now when I worked in the restaurants at a steakhouse, I would have probably like 30 steaks tempered uh, just waiting to get cooked. So as soon as we got slammed with orders, I just started putting, you know, steaks on, on, the, on the grill. Go ahead and season this here. This is gonna be a nice little snack. Quick rule of thumb, you wanna go by the fill of the steak. And how I do that is I use my thumb here, my little palm right here. So uh, this allows me to calculate the, the doneness. So rare, if you were to, if you got a nice sear on your steak and it feels like that, that's, that's rare. If you take your thumb to your index finger and you, you fill right here, that's medium rare. This kind of gives you an idea of how, how it should feel. And then medium, you know, thumb to your in, middle finger, that's medium. 
and then thumb to your ring finger that's medium well and then thumb to pinky and as you get to your pinky it's a lot harder so that's something to keep in mind you want to go by feel of the steak you know steaks are really easy to mess up <laughs> and i've seen it you know when i worked at a steakhouse we were pumping out a bunch of steaks and the cook next to me was overcooking some and and yeah and you got to do everything all over again but yeah go by the doneness of what i'm going to be cooking this to medium rare today because that's what everybody prefers so this is a big steak this is going to take a little bit of time to to cook but you know like i said the the doneness doesn't change you know so i'm going for a medium rare that's what it needs to feel like so when this is done uh resting i'm going to go ahead and cook it up all right so we're going to go ahead and set this to about medium high temperature we're gonna go ahead and lay down a little bit of cooking oil we're gonna let this pan come to temp you want this hot it's good you want to get a good sear on that steak now this cast iron pan this is the only thing i use this for is to cook steaks on cast iron give a really really good sear on steaks because it holds the temperature really really hot so probably the best searing uh, that i get from steaks is using cast iron but you can use uh, stainless steel and uh, non-stick but uh, I prefer the cast iron to give a better better sear on my steaks all right so we're gonna check to see if our oil's ready I can see it's smoking already and when you start seeing sizzling like that on your spoon that means your your oil's hot see how it sizzles like that all right so we're gonna go ahead and place our steak right here in the middle Now we're going to go ahead and let it sear for a couple of minutes. You're going to start noticing that you're going to get more oil because the fat's actually going to be rendering down uh, in the pan. All right, so after about two and a half minutes, we're going to go ahead and flip our steak. That nice crust on there. So we're going to let this cook for another two and a half minutes on that side. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to add in three tablespoons of butter. Now we're gonna go ahead and lower the heat to medium heat. Put your steak to the side a little bit and then we'll just face the top. Now one thing to note, you can add a sprig of rosemary and thyme into your butter as you're basting it. That way it could give some aromatics to your steak. But the reason why I don't have it in this video is because my wife is actually allergic to rosemary. So. I went ahead and left it out so that way she can eat the steak with me. But yes, rosemary and thyme does give a good flavor to your steak. Let's go ahead and keep basting it. Got it tilted a little bit so that way it can, you know, have the butter come back to me. All right, so right now is where you want to fill. Okay, like I said, I'm trying to go for a medium rare. That looks like about right. So now we're gonna go ahead and remove it. Now, if you want it medium, you want it to fill like right here. You're not applying a lot of pressure. You're, you're just right here. You're just touching your finger. You want it to fill like that. So that fills about right. All right, so let's go ahead and remove it. And let it rest. After your steak has rested for 10 minutes, you wanna go ahead and separate the ribeye from the spinalis, which is also known as the rib cap. Then you wanna cut your slices of your steak and you want to cut at an angle so that way you can get a little bit longer pieces so that way you can share with your special someone. Whipped up a little homemade uh, steak sauce. Real yummy. Let me know in the comment section if you like steak sauce with your steaks. Get a nice piece here. Cheers, y'all. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That steak sauce is bomb. Try it without. Nice, heavy seasoning on the salt. Garlic flavor is real good. Tender meat. Good stuff. You gotta surprise your loved one with an awesome dinner like this. Get you a steak, a nice big steak, and two lobster tails. You are golden. The only thing you need is wine and a little bit of special time. So if you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Now we can see future videos just like this. I have these recipes. They're really good. 
and you should try them out. Now y'all be beautiful and take care.